Now here we have the MPX range, the standard range of our newest controller of the MPX family, starting with the MPX0, MPX1. It's now is the question, what is the MPX series or range and for what is it? Um, it's simply for showcases and for supermarket applications. Awesome. We start with the smallest, just with the uh, plugins, entry level, totally easy. So you'd see more of these like in bottle coolers maybe, like little yeah. where you get Coke and Pepsis out of it? Something like, like this or okay. some, some small freezes or something like yeah, this. Yeah. Okay. And what's the mid-range? The middle range. Here we have more uh, possibilities for advanced controls management, energy management um, and everything you can imagine. And especially when it comes to the MPX-1 advanced okay. in the middle range, you can start to manage directly the expansion valve. The MPX-1 medium in the panel version is also able to talk to an EVD uh, mini Okay, yeah, yeah. As, as an example, um, who is able to manage the valve, and this one has the valve driver directly on board. So, what's the biggest difference between the MPX and the EVV, uh, EV, EVD? EVD. Um, this is a complete controller for our showcase, for our. Um, yeah. So, a control a condensing unit? We yeah, have more or less condensing unit, okay. just with an um, on off. Uh, oh, contactor. No. Yep. Um, you have the possibility to uh, manage the evaporator brands. Yep. brands. Um, everything really you need. Where the here. EVD just did the valve, right? Just, just, the just the controller, yeah. exactly. And here's this completely showcase controller. Yeah, awesome. So you talked about having um, the energy monitoring with this or energy. Can you explain what that? would look like for a customer, like uh, the energy savings in that uh, controller? Yeah, it depends totally on the settings and what yeah. we're doing and what is the design um, of our application because the energy saving starts with the design of the complete application. Mm -hmm. The first steps, starting with the uh, evaporator, etc. But here um, we have our expansion valve driver on board. This normally makes from a difference between uh, thermostatic expansion valve to an electronic expansion mm -hmm. valve between 50 and 30 percent energy savings. Yeah, yeah. So this is massive. Um, yeah. What about does it? Will it shut lights off if it wanted to? Will yeah. it? Can it raise the suction pressure? This one, if you wanted to. For yeah, suction pressure um, and superheat raising yeah. is also something. But therefore, we need something more to manage this. Okay. And this is something we would see in a couple of minutes on the other side of this. Awesome. Uh, nice panel. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah. Hey, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you got something out of it, something that you can use in your daily life. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell button because when you do click the bell button, it will notify you anytime new videos are released. Also, check out the Refrigeration Mentor webpage at refrigerationmentor.com where I'll have all the different trainings, upcoming events, the different podcasts I've been on, as well as the Refrigeration Mentor podcast. If you want to check that out on Apple, Spotify, Google, any service provider of your choice. Super excited to see you at the next video. Now let's get a conversation going.